so that's it. We got to the gala. I think that's the uh, title. Dude, I'm getting to the gala. All right. Let's go, Jets. From when we first started, he's gotten like so much more flexible. Yeah. Like in every part, like his back, his hips, everything, his hamstrings. And last, and last night was light? Zero. Zero, that's because I ate a good amount at the breakfast. Got it. 8.07 a.m. Got caught up with the kids, so rushing. 8 a.m. breakfast, hate being late, worst feeling. But little investor uh, breakfast right now. Uh, networking with an angel Series A investor. Are you just getting in? Oh yeah. A little, a little uh, yeah. daily vlog. All good, you wanna baby. get a little? Hey, what's up, everybody? I just had an amazing meeting with Gary V. He just blows me away every single time I meet with him. He's so inspirational. Um, I remember when he started VaynerMedia five years ago, and it's just like growing into this massive company. Eric, this is a very rare moment. This is one of the few times we'll ever have a meeting where the Jets won and the Patriots lost. You know, I thought this before. would come up. I didn't think it would come up this quickly. Yeah, pretty much came up better. immediately. Immediately. Yeah, I really don't want to. I really don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm Eric. I rejoined VaynerMedia about four or five months ago now. I was here in the early days 2011. And what I'm working on with Gary is I'm working on opening up a London office. So we're going to open an office in London for VaynerMedia. So I came on board to work with him, work with the office team, to try to figure that out. It's good to be here. The weather's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of things to do. Yeah. So I'm Bob. Bob McGonigal. How are you? Yeah. You too, brother. Thanks, oh. thanks for coming. Yes. yes. <laughs> Doing daily. He's daily always on. He's always there. Oh, Where do you so live, cool. man? I live in Arizona. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice run into you. You too, bro. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I don't want you missing the fan <laughs> moments. All right, good morning. What is it, D-Rock? 11.04. Got in four substantial meetings already. Uh, obviously my life's breaking down into running Vayner uh, and, and doing a VC investing behavior. So uh, we went two and two on those meetings. So it's good allocation of uh, two and a half hours. Now we're headed to uh, the part that I think this vlog is gonna allow me to show a little bit more of, which is I think people are always asking me how do I balance my uh, family life. So right now we're going to uh, Xander's Hanukkah party at his preschool. Um, it's been fun. I, I really didn't for a long time break my day up with family, but uh, my my uh, my kids are growing up and they're having these events, and I'm absolutely hacking and arbitraging, making sure that I'm spending time uh, on the important things. So I'm excited that I'm, when I'm in town, if they've got stuff going on at school or any of their activities, I'm desperately trying to uh, carve out the time to be there. So we'll run over to that now. To Mickey Cloud, he runs the Chattanooga office. Yo, Mickey, how are you? Hello. Good, brother. How was your weekend? That was huge. God, I wanted that one. We always want to be consultants. We always want to get paid for our advice. Like, we're not in the masonry business, but at the end of the day, it's their call. We just never want them to feel like we're not. We're always going to be passionate about the best advice. Hold on one second. You know what, I can jump out here, my friend. Yeah, just make quick, because it's right up here in the corner. I'll just walk one block, thank you. All right, talk to you. What's up, sissy? Phew is right. Look bad there for a while. <laughs> Poor mom. Mom, mom and dad are four and oh. They have, they, they, mom was probably secretly losing the lose, cause, secretly rooting to lose, because she didn't want to go to the next stop. I mean, she's like, I'm like, mom, we're going to Dallas. She's like, ugh. I had to catch up with my sis. How you doing, Kev? Cool, man. Brian, ready? Hey, Brian. How did, how did the rest of the meeting go? 12-14, D-Rock. No moments to spare. Time to call Brando. There's a second email to 699. P-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-
you been playing? No, I've been out of the country. So oh. I recently came back. Got it. Awesome. Are you gonna get back on the play? Oh yeah. You yeah. haven't played. I haven't been playing. I'm getting back though. What's up, tall dudes? Oh, what's what up, y'all? Like literally the ebb and flow of, of the news. I didn't was respond going to you. With, was going with the game, like as it was like a problem. I didn't respond like, to you. The though. Giants were scoring. You guys lost the most. I don't want to. Talk, I don't want to talk about it. Good news and bad news. Give me the bad news first. So there are no first class seats to, from Miami to LA. That's bad news! <laughs> First class, if you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, dinner tomorrow, I just texted yeah, you Yeah, I just texted you back. I'm trying seven different people. Okay. I've got two days recording the audio In January, audiobook. yes. No. I'll get it out in two days. One's 9 to 6, one's 9 to 4.30. But we could make it 9 to 6.30. Couldn't they give me a 1 to like, I'll be in the studio till fucking 4 in the morning. Uh, I'll ask. Yeah. If they can't move, I can yep. tell them that you can get there. I'll take a call. Can you cut your hair? Uh, no, I'm just not wearing a hat, but I did cut my hair. But, yeah. Do we, do we need to sign a consent form? No. I'm, I am your consent form. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Can we do this in your office? Yeah. Let's do this in your office. Right. And I want to get your guys kind of read on 60. Kind of what we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. I just want to do it one more time. I want to have a good pulse on it. Yeah. 170, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Ready to go? Yeah. Hey, everybody. This is Gary Vay, Nerd Chuck, and uh, make sure you watch tomorrow's Daily V. I'm excited about this, D-Rock. I think we're up to something. 120 videos for client. Cool. All right. What time is it? It's 120. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for the thing that matters the most, which is your attention. Excellent. Great. What's up, Vayner Media? Uh, it is your CEO, Gary Vaynerchuk. Zach, yes. I want you to say it to Daily V at three o'clock. The new site goes live. New site will go live at three o'clock. What is that? No way. <laughs> Did it just come in? Well, yeah. Is this how thick it's gonna be? I mean, I know it's gonna be hard covered. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice. hefty book. This is why Daily V is so awesome. The fact that you get the. This is it, huh? Oh, Feeling good, Zach? Feeling good. It's a lot of emotions right now. It's cool, right? It's cool. It's cool. Too many things going on right now, but is, I like uh, it. Did the feedback from the uh, email list help a lot? Yeah. Found That's a lot helpful. of good stuff? Yeah. No, Anything major, major? See, Nothing major. A lot of the stuff was stuff that Caroline and I kind of knew, knew about already, but some of them were pretty helpful and like offered suggestions. Awesome. Amazon, they sell at 274. Yes. Uh, Brandon just said, what do you want to match Amazon's 100%. price? 100%. So, so 274. For yep. Four. Yep. Hey. How are you? Good. Live streaming with Leo. Legend in the game. Can we go? I'm going to periscope for a second. Why don't you tell everybody what I'm doing? And then just step out and tell them what the link is. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got to get stunned. We got to get stunned when here. <laughs> Say hello. Hey, Leo. What's up, man? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm fangirling so hard. I, I seriously, <laughs> I've been watching the Twit Network since, I mean, well, since before you guys were doing Twit Live for like a million years. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Break a leg. Thanks, <laughs> Tony. Shit, little wax in your ears. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. I'm super pumped. That's not, you know, it would be wild. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a great holiday, everybody. Take care. Thanks for you. Cool. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Well, well, how are you? How's it going? Good. That's what. Who, who ran that? You have to leave by 5:30, and you already have a 50, and you already have a 15 minute meeting. Good news is the answer is I will see her for three minutes. Because okay, I'll be right back in one second. Yep, and then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Later. I just told him it's gonna be a 20. Uh, news is I'm willing to there. I just don't know what the hell's going on there. Hi, I'm Jessica Will. I'm an account manager. Um, the experience was good. It's always a little nerve-wracking, you know, going to meet Gary and you haven't met him before. But he's super personable and very into getting to know who you are, how you feel about the company, and how he can help. Um, so it was super helpful. Hey, I'm Pam Barrett. I'm the director of recruiting here at Vayner Media. If I were to say any one thing about that meeting is that um, what you see is what 
you get with Gary. Seems like a great guy to you? He really is. Um, he's a great guy to us. Cool. Mm -hmm. Gabe, you good. I want to start the conversations of what's on your mind, what's on my mind. Uh, this is chess, motherfucker! <laughs> I'm gonna take a piss. Uh, there's gonna be dinner tonight. Keep it light. I may not eat again today. There's gonna be like a nice sit down dinner though, I assume. Yeah. I'll do the right things. Thank you. Eddie? Yep. Hey, why are you in love? I'll be there in one second. Super great. Cool. <laughs> I haven't seen you all day, but I, I feel like... I was gonna interrupt like twice, but... Are you in a good mood? I'm in the best mood. Me too. I mean, that was a big compliment. Yo, Steve's a giant fan, so we're celebrating his mouth. Steve. <laughs> 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 they won, I told him they won. Steve's won four Super Bowls! We haven't been to any. He's, he'll be okay. At this point, as you can tell, we've gotten a shitload of stuff in on the day, very typical day. As a matter of fact, what I wanted to kind of like jump in while I had two minutes here to talk about was how pissed I am at so many of you that have been following me for a long time talking about, whoa, after watching 001, wait a minute, that's a lot. Oh, that's what it takes. Oh, that's hustle. Oh, it's great to see it for real. Oh, I didn't realize it was so much. I was really pissed because I was like, yeah, what do you think? As a matter of fact, what was so ironic about the day we did the first episode was unfortunately a business associate's a good friend of mine and a business associate, his mother passed away. So as you saw in episode one, uh, I had to go do a ship a call which wiped out my entire evening of 7 p.m. to midnight meetings, five different meetings. And what I thought was so ironic was reading and first of all, thank you so much for the feedback because the comments are my oxygen. Reading all those comments, everybody talking about like, oh, that's what he does. Oh crap, there is real hustle. It was funny because that contradicts what I walked into because when I got home, 10.30, 11, Lizzie literally looked at me as I walked in and said, why are you home so early? Like, what are you doing here? And uh, I was already reading the comments, uh, uh, you know, on the next day and I was just like showing Lizzie and she was like, Psh. Like it was such a funny moment with my wife. I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm enjoying the, uh, this process and uh, I want you to know how much it means to me that you're watching. But most of all, I, uh, I'm excited because I, I guess, I didn't realize this when we did it, I guess this is gonna help uh, put a cherry on top of the Sunday of like, the work is the work. There's no talking about it. There's no going on the Ask Gary V show and pontificating about it, but then not actually living it. I mean, some people were writing things like, oh, I heard entrepreneurs don't work that much. Like, I, was, I was absolutely uh, uh, intrigued by the feedback and I'm excited for you guys to continue on this journey because uh, get ready to be very exhausted. Um, we have two minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. Two minutes to you as a life time. I guess. Uh, but, hold on. but not for everybody hold here. On, hold on, hold on. We have two minutes. Hold Put on, it hold all on. hands off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Are you listening to me? Yes. Um, if you could. 100% up. Okay, I just want to give you. 100% up. I don't understand. Let's go. Brandon. I don't give a shit. Let's go. Where are you? Dylan. It's like the pie pie. Let's go. Oh, snap. Can yeah, that by GB himself. Yo. All hands. I'm coming. Now. I'm coming. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. What's the matter with you guys? Okay. The fuck, I knew 15 was gonna be fucking shit on this. Let's go, guys. Let's go. It's fucking 501. I don't understand this. What the fuck? Like, what? Are, what? What about 5 p.m.? Do we not understand around here? And I have. Yeah. All hands. Let's go. All hands, not some hands. Let's go. Let's go. Let's that was go. a lot. All hands, not some hands. Let's go, James. I see you. That's a lot of employees. Good afternoon. Uh, as I continue to kind of pay attention to the pulse of the company, I think we're handling this day of the year better than we ever had before, which speaks to maturity and, uh, and confidence and things of that nature. So I think it would be appropriate, mainly because I like loud sounds right now, for everybody to clap up each other for your job. 
I spend enormous amounts of time trying to be uh, efficient, trying to figure out efficiencies for this company, and something has become pretty inefficient at scale, given the scale that we're at, which is the time cycle and cadence that we deploy promotions and raises. And so we do that on a month to month basis. We really do it on a day to day basis. And there's a lot of work that goes into it. And so to find efficiencies, we are going to go to a more structured, more infrequent, uh, you know, pay bumps and promotion period. Uh, Minnie will give the details four times a year, things of that nature. Uh, what I, the reason I kind of wanted to make sure everybody heard it uh, from the horse's mouth is nobody that's going to get caught up in the new cycle, uh, much like we did with VMAP with the CMs, will be negatively affected. If anything, some people may get accelerations depending on the timing. But in 2016, we're going to go, and Minnie will talk about it real quick, and then we'll send an email with all the details. But we're going to go into a, a different cadence of not month to month with promotions and raises, but more infrequent, a couple times a year to make our team more efficient, make sure we're crossing T's and I's. Uh, but I really thought since shit, it's the thing that you guys care about tremendously because it's your life. I wanted to make sure that you guys heard that the only thing we're doing with this is to find a cadence, not that, oh crap, I'm not gonna get a promotion or raise two months earlier or things of that nature. There's, we've spent almost, once we decided, all of our time has been spent on nobody left behind that could be affected because they were supposed to get you know, a, a promotion or, or raise in February, but we started in January and somehow they got affected. There's no they get burned in April. We will go through that systematically, but I wanted you to hear that from me uh, so you understood where it was coming from. Thank you guys, have a great day, thank you. I want to show his big face. <laughs> um, listen to the Twitter stuff because it's important. Yeah, yeah, I think absolutely. people ask you questions. Matt, yeah. am I going to change into my tux here? Well, I also don't want to drag the tux. Well, that's why we have D Rock now. I don't have to follow you around the city anymore. Oh. Tux. Tux. Tux, right. Are you going to a dinner? Yes, a gala. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do it. Go ahead. Yes. So I'm a big fan of what you just saw with the all hands on meeting. Uh, I think it's great to get everybody together and aligned in one shot. I think there's a lot of efficiency in it. And uh, for the minor inconvenience of wrangling everybody up, as you probably saw, depending on how DRock wants to edit, um, you get to kind of drop a bomb and everybody gets to see it, right? It's just like one big moment. Uh, and I find in big organizations, especially fast, smart, uh, lean organizations that are that are the role the way we do, that, that there's a lot of the players at that meeting that know how to keep up with that kind of speed and cadence. And so I'm proud of that. I think we've created that culture and uh, more importantly, I've watched my company be able to execute uh, at that kind of level. And so I love the all hands on, allows me to interact even at that level with the employees uh, and I like doing them. So I'm pretty convinced they're not gonna let you in because it's a private club. There's some rooms that D-Rock's not gonna be allowed in, so things going well so far. How's so long? Now the transformation begins. Time to take out. What? Just so far. Good to see you. It's that? all dogs. It's all great. Good. I'm learning a bunch. Good. Um, so far, so good. So far, so good. And good. the best part, and I can say this is all the shit that I can bring with me from Vayner Media. Everyone is like, ooh. Like, <laughs> we worked on Instagram strategy today, and I was and like, like Whoa. here are some seeds of knowledge. So Unreal. I was set up for success, thanks good. to you. And then we just met up randomly, yeah, going to have dinner. and I got to bump into you guys. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And the Jets yeah. awesome. And the Jets won. I mean, that's not really like let's call it. Was all the good best part about this run in is you in a suit though. I know it's Whoa. very rare. Oh, sorry. Yeah, D Rock eat it. Eighty second and fifth. Where the fuck is everyone? 
now we're headed to the gala as I'm decked out and uh, the best part is the uh, is the 3.45 a.m. wake up call because uh, I have a 5.40 flight tomorrow. You got it there? Yep. <laughs> Maybe I'll push it to a 4 a.m. wake up call. <laughs> the internet's fault, not your fault? But like, but it's up, right? Like some people right now will see the new website. All right, I'm gonna try to pull up my phone right now and see if I get it. Okay, no worries. I'm sure by tomorrow it will. All right, cool. Thanks, brother. Love you. See you. All right, let's see if I have it on my phone. That was Zach. New site's not up. I'm just, it's been pushed, but it's not showing up everywhere in the world. I don't even know how to spell my name anymore because I was typing VaynerMedia. <laughs> I actually misspelled it. You're right, get this. That's what happens. <laughs> I have the old one. Damn it. I want to get the new one to like stick it to the. <laughs> no, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to the Charity War ga Gala and then tomorrow I have a 4 a.m. wake up call. I'm flying to Miami at 5 a.m. Keep it, keeping it real. Oh, right. Yo. Good, how are you? Good, Rain and Harvey. I'm snapping for charity water. I just I got it. here from the airport. It I think this is where it is. I'll get it, man. I'll see yeah. you in there. Cool, I'll see you. So that's it. We got to the gala. I think that's the uh, title. Yeah. Uh, getting to the gala. Uh, charity water gala, an incredible organization. Uh, Scott Harrison uh, has done such a good job that I think most of you know what Charity Water is, but if you don't, uh, D-Rock, link it up right here. Uh, great day, got a lot in. Uh, looking forward to seeing Lizzie inside, spending some time with her, supporting a tremendous cause. Uh, 4 a.m. wake up call, we'll be here at 11, 11.30, hanging, jamming, seeing some friends, doing good stuff. Uh, really enjoyed having you guys around, this is really fun. I'm enjoying it, D-Rock, see you soon. Maybe I'll try to get some footage in there. Yep. Thank you. The amazing stuff. The amazing place. Hello. This way? Thank you. It's getting louder. So it means I'm close. Finally, just thanks to you guys for buying tickets, for buying tables, for contributing to this event. Uh, we've already helped a lot of people. You're gonna hear more about that later and the goal, but uh, we're so, so excited. You guys could be anywhere tonight and you chose to spend your time with us.